I grew up in Amy, Louisiana, where my mother had a clothing store. Always describe it as like still magnolias set in a clothing store. I actually started school as a PE major. I wanted to be a football coach, and that um, didn't quite work out. So she has, she gave me some direction to uh, go to uh, art school in Dallas and study fashion design. I was working with uh, Reebok um, with them, and uh, they had hired a, uh, a, a gentleman that he came in to be vice president, president of design and I was sitting in a sales meeting and he came in and goes, you're dressed differently than the other people in here. And he said, how would you like to go into design? And I said, I'd love to go inside. That's all I wanted, that's all I ever wanted to do. I like to make things that, that almost like furniture. I, I love clothes that, that really sort of have a qual heirloom quality to it where it's something you build it and it's built to this really built to last, whether that's from a durability standpoint or from a style standpoint, where a guy can feel comfortable or a girl can feel comfortable in um, Florence, Alabama, or she can be in downtown New York and it's still got the same vibe and relates well to both those places. I think they like things that are, that are classic and timeless, but they do want to feel um, like it's they're it's new, but they want things. I think they have they want that kind of integrity in their clothes, that they know when they get it, it's going to look better a year from now than it looks when they're out of the rack. That's how we. I think that's what our customer really appreciates. Uh, inspiration for for me just comes from all over the place. No one set, <clears throat> no one set thing. Um, it could be a movie, it could be a book, it could be somebody walking down the street, it could be an old man with his pants pulled up over his belly button. It could be just a, a shape of a window you might see in an old home. So it's really just all of those things kind of coming together. What we see happen in our, in our shops is she'll, there's, a, there's a woman that comes in and she likes a little bit of the men's part of things. So she likes to take pieces in the men's and kind of mix it with something more feminine. So we really focus on building the collection kind of from a manufacturing standpoint, from the men's point of view. So we really tailor it incredibly well. And then sprinkle in more feminine touches, whether it's silks or chiffons or really more draping hits and things like that. But really the same principles that, you know, as far as naturals, fabrications and things like that really applies. We want it to be sort of, you know, kind of the girlfriend to the, to the guy. It's just being yourself. I mean, we're all different, you know. Uh, some people like it over easy, some people like it boiled, you know. So I think it's just kind of finding what you what you what your own sense of style is and making it making it your own. Mm -hmm.